Hi kiddos, it's Riley, and I am back today with another Adri video for you. And today I wanted to talk about something a little bit more serious, and that is age regression in cringe culture, which is something that I feel like a lot of us, especially that age regress, see a lot. Because let's be honest, most of us who have been involved in age regression have witnessed people bashing on or hating on or misunderstanding understanding the age regression community in some way. The most common places I have personally seen this are on TikTok and Instagram. But the biggest question I have to ask is why? Why do people do this? Why do people feel the need to bash on it? Why do people feel the need to hate on it? Why do people feel the need to put age regression content into cringe compilations? and stuff like that. Especially since we age regressors are not doing anything to hurt ourselves or anyone else. People automatically label things they don't understand or find weird as cringe. Honestly, that doesn't really make sense as the definition of cringe is to bend one's head or body in fear. And that definition comes from the Oxford Dictionary, so you can look that up. And cringing is basically a reaction that you have to something. But it's a reaction that one has usually in regards to fear or disgust. And usually the reactions people have to age regression are from a place of misunderstanding and not from a place of fear. So putting age regression into the cringe boat doesn't really make sense. I think people are misunderstanding what the term cringe actually means. Logically speaking, Adri in and of itself isn't something that induces an actual cringe when you know what it is, which is why educating people people on what age regression actually is, is so important. Which is another reason why I create the content that I do. I enjoy putting it out there. I like educating people on age regression and having people know that it's normal. It's a normal way for people to cope and manage with stress and deal with everyday life and cope with trauma and mental illness. It's not a cringy thing. It's not something to be ashamed of. Age regression isn't cringy. It's coping, flat out. As I said, many folks who regress do so to cope with mental illness and trauma, and if you think that people coping with mental illness and trauma in a safe way is cringy, you have some serious things that you need to look into within yourself. No matter the reason, regressing is absolutely valid and not something that actually induces a cringe for people. People can be weirded out by looking at it, but it's not a cringy thing. So when people put it in cringe compilations, they are misunderstanding what cringe is. And cringe compilations in and of itself, we could get into why things like that are problematic and judgmental towards people who are really just living their lives and not bothering anybody, but that's a whole other story. People take things that they do not understand and bash them and hate on them because it's easier than trying to look at things from somebody else's perspective. That doesn't make it okay. Age regression is not a cringy thing, it's coping. I don't know how many times I have to say that. When you see comments or content like this, there's a couple of different things you can do. You can block and report the content, that way that you don't have to see it and the content can potentially be taken down for bullying, because obviously making fun of people for whatever reason is not something that's really okay. Try not to take this cringe content too hard because ultimately these people are dealing with things within themselves that they are struggling with and they're taking it out on other people. They don't know any better and their opinion ultimately does not matter. Your form of coping, as long as it's not hurting yourself or anyone else, is 100% valid. It's not cringy. It's not bad. And first and foremost, keep yourself safe. If using social media and being part of the online community is not something that is benefiting you in a positive way, distance yourself from it. 
That's something that I have personally had to do recently with communities like Instagram, and while I'm sad about it, it has proven to be helpful for me recently. And if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. But ultimately, I want this video to serve as a reminder to you and as a reminder to anybody else that age regression in and of itself it being involved in cringe culture is just ridiculous because the people that are putting age regression into these cringe compilations, first of all, don't understand what the definition of cringing actually is, but also are totally misunderstanding and just unaccepting towards other people's coping mechanisms and what makes them happy and are clearly dealing with some internal stuff themselves to the point where they have to hate on other people for doing things that make them happy. And that's kind of sad. So this is just proving as a reminder that you are loved, you are valid, your age regression is valid, and that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you would like to see more age regression content from me, some like this and other stuff more in regression for when you are regressed, you can subscribe to this channel. I post as often as I can. I also have a main channel and a vlog channel that I post on regularly. They are linked down in the description if you'd like to follow me there. I'm currently active on Pinterest if you want to give me a follow. The link is also in the description. I love you guys so very much and I will see you soon. Goodbye.